And welcome back. East Side House Settlement is one of New York City's oldest not-for-profit social service organizations, expanding opportunities to live more fulfilling lives through education, career, and supportive services. Join us to tell us more. We've got the details of, uh, I should say, join us to share more details. We've got the executive director of East Side House Settlement, Daniel Diaz. And uh, Daniel, good to have you with us. I'm glad to be here. Glad to have you sharing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of programs that you have over there at Eastside that really uh, benefit the community. So for somebody who may not be so familiar, let's give us a little bit about Eastside first. So Eastside House Settlement is an old settlement house. Uh, we've been around since 1891. Uh, our youngest participant is 18 months, and our oldest participant is about 98 years old. So we like to say we started from twinkle to wrinkle. And... Uh, <laughs> And with that, our, our main uh, bread and butter, if you will, is uh, education and workforce development. We believe that those two work in hand in hand in order to get our families and community members into the economic mainstream and then help them stay there. When we talk about getting people to the next level, obviously high school is a great challenge. I know that there's some work that you do in terms of helping people with their high school equivalency. Uh, tell us about the program. So we have a, a bunch of programs uh, that are second chance, third chance, uh, some may even view them as last chance uh, programs for people to earn their high school credential. Uh, so we have schools for young people who have been left back at least once or twice uh, before they even get past the ninth grade. And we have those that are transfer school programs. We have evening school programs. And then we have, of course, uh, the GED programs for getting people back on track. All of those pathways can lead them on to um, our post-secondary pathways programs, which get them into better places in college, higher education, uh, training programs, certifications, and ultimately getting them a job. Uh, in the work that you do, talk to me about your impact, because you've seen a tremendous amount of people who've actually come through your doors and uh, have le left with uh, better lives and better quality of life. Well, absolutely. Uh, we... We love that um, the motivation comes from within the, the people that we work with. Uh, we can't do it without their motivation. And so every single year, we're placing at least uh, five to 600 people in uh, work. Um, and uh, we usually have about 1,000 graduates from all of our high school programs, of which about 60% or so go on to uh, post-secondary in college and about another 30% go on to earn certifications that are workforce ready. So about 90% of our participants altogether go on to work or higher education, uh, which we believe benefits them to get into the economic mainstream. As you look in your community, obviously the needs are great, the needs are many. Uh, what do you determine to be some of the more paramount needs that you're finding amongst those that you serve? Some of the things that we're seeing now um, have to do with a lot of safety issues uh, in the community. There's a lot of people who are, are fearful for uh, what's coming down the pipe in the Mott Haven area in the South Bronx. Um, there are individuals who in, uh, in the community are still struggling with food insecurity, uh, which we're trying to combat with our Harvest to Haven program, uh, which provides healthy meals for families in the community. Um, and so Food and, and uh, safety are still some of the biggest concerns here uh, in the South Bronx. And as you look at the South Bronx, obviously you've seen a lot of great revitalization. We know what it used to be in years past. And uh, what does it feel like for you to be a part of the revitalization, particularly for residents who are out there who definitely have needs and uh, you're able to meet so many of them? Oh, we're just glad to see that people are finally paying attention to the Bronx uh, and the South Bronx, uh, if you will. Um, you know, we've been here quite a long time in the South Bronx, and we believe that our families have the same goals and dreams and hopes for their kids as, as everybody does for their kids, uh, for them to be in a better place and do, and do great things in their lives. And we're just happy to be a part of that. We're happy that the community believes in us. We believe in our community. Uh, we call our young people the closet geniuses. All they need is somebody to uh, work alongside them, and their genius shines. Talk about workforce development. We know that so many of our young people are underskilled, and sometimes when it comes to getting that next job or going to the next level, uh, they don't necessarily have that skill set. But uh, what are you finding when it comes to workforce development uh, in your in your doors uh, that young people are taking advantage of and families are taking advantage of? Because uh, 
we know that everybody wants to get a better quality of life, a better income, uh, but sometimes they, in order to do better, you, or yeah, in order to get better, you got to do better. Absolutely. I think uh, in our post-secondary pathways program, we've seen a lot of interest in our healthcare uh, partnerships. So young people can come in, um, they can get the training that they need uh, in working in the areas of EKG, phlebotomy, CNA. Uh, we have the partnerships to then get them the jobs in those fields. Uh, and, you know, getting those skills, those skills that have been dormant for so long uh, and have not been nurtured, uh, especially during the pandemic, we've been able to really bring our workforce development to another level as, as uh, young people come in, they get their certifications, they're stackable, so then they can then be used uh, in order to get the jobs and then keep the jobs in the future. And so as you go into the year 2023, uh, talk to me about your goals and your objectives, anything that you set your sights on for next year? Absolutely. So we are opening up our commercial kitchen. Uh, our commercial kitchen will be on 139th Street and Bruckton Boulevard. It is a new sector for us. Uh, we're believing that a lot of our young people and their families can work, learn how to work in the kitchen, get their food handler certification, um, and then help to feed their own communities. Uh, we've seen that the kitchen really does not care where you came from. The kitchen only cares if you can chop and cook that food really well. Um, and we're, we're going to be able to get that out. Our commercial kitchen should be open and starting in April uh, 2023. Amazing things there. And uh, when you talk about commercial kitchen, it opens the door for a lot of opportunity, huh? Yes. Uh, the commercial kitchen is going to be 8,000 square feet. It's a, it's a huge kitchen. It's a teaching kitchen. Um, and what, what it opens the door for is local restaurants um, to really get involved. Uh, we're looking for some celebrity chef type work as well. So um, our young people are really going to be primed uh, to be in the food industry. You got to try my peanut butter and jelly, man. It's really good. I love peanut butter and jelly, but no, we're not talking about just peanut butter. So we, may, we may have to make our own peanut butter for that. I hear you, man. I know. Listen, but I want to tell you, thank you so much for the work that you're doing over there at Eastside Settlement House. Uh, before we leave, if there's anything you want to share with us. Well, we're just happy to continue our work. Uh, we're happy for all the support that we've had uh, over the years. Um, and, you know, programs like this, thank you for having us on to share a little bit about what we do. All righty. Well, Daniel Diaz, it's been great having you here. Uh, Executive Director of Eastside House Settlement and a uh, pleasure talking to you, brother. All right, you too. You take care. All right, have a happy holiday. All right. All right. Well, listen, if you want more information, visit their website, eastsidehouse.org. And of course, follow them on Instagram at eastsidehouseinc. Don't go anywhere. We've got more open coming up right after this.